Molecular gastronomy. Look at that. That was good. <laughs> Just say that at a cocktail party. I don't know how you said it. Our science guy, Steve Spangler, here to talk about, uh, it doesn't look like food, but we're going to talk food. Well, if we said molecular gastronomy 10 years ago, people go, what? And even today. But if I say popping boba, everybody knows about popping boba nowadays. Everybody. Our good friends at Nico Boba in Littleton were nice enough. A brand new place that opened up. Lines out the door. Oh, Why? For them. Because uh, they want this drink that has these little popping little uh, pearls things. that are inside. Yeah. So I try to hold still so you can kind of catch it like this. But uh, there's a liquid. Oops, I just broke one. There's a liquid that's inside. And when you squeeze it in your mouth, of course, bam, you get this little uh, burst of liquid that's Edible kind of and flavorful. Ed edible and, all and all flavorable. I'm right. going to show you how to make them and how they oh. make them. And believe it or not, uh, for vegans, they make caviar the same way. I know you're very excited. No, about but I'm wondering because it, it, it sounds like food, but none of this looks like food. No, no, no. no, no. no. Let's not. start with this. If you look at the clear material there, this is a seaweed extract called yeah. sodium alginate, and so that's the clear liquid that all this popping boba starts with. This isn't edible, but if you mixed a, a sugary kind of thing with it, that would be great. The problem is you now need to make it turn it into that sphere. So right. let me show you how to make the worm first. Okay. So we start with this uh, pickle juice. Believe it or not, pickle juice has a. If you look in the ingredients, it has something called calcium carbo or uh, I'm sorry, calcium chloride. <laughs> I blow ah. up pumpkins with calcium carbon. Calcium chloride, so it's a salt. That's it. So, so that's that, calcium chloride. That's it. And so that really is just a pickle brine that's in there. You now have the sodium alginate, so that seaweed, and I put uh, kind of a color in it. So watch what happens here. If I spin this around, if you look in this middle bowl right here, watch this. As I just squeeze it in, look. The moment it touches, oh, it solidifies, so and there cool. is the worm. That's yours, and that's yours. I'll Am I supposed it around to stir, for you. stir? You can do whatever you want. Can I pick you my can do, yep, you can do whatever you want. Colors. But look at this. As I pull it out, look at this. It instantly turns <gasps> into this string slime. So when you reach in, reach in right. and pull, there it is. There it is. I've made so those goo. molecules Ooh. connect instantly. They touch. And it's still a liquid on the inside, so if you pull it apart, pull it apart, look. There's the liquid on the inside. So oh, it's yeah. like a popping boba, touch it, and it will instantly seal. So it's kind of a, kids call it a new slime, right? A it's new like way yeah. to do slime. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. And so you, you put whatever you want to inside. So if yours, if oh, here, try this. Uh, take this out and just okay. throw it on the table. Good. And now, look, if you take um, your your uh, sodium I alginate. Stir again? Here, and you don't have to stir. Just turn this upside down and do single drops, just one drop at a time. That's how they do the pearls. Look at them. There they are oh. right there. Bingo, bingo, bingo. So look at that. Now I got a different way to make it for you. So try it this way. Um, take your spoon. Your, yes. yeah, take the spoon yeah. there, and now put your uh, your sodium or your um, the little word goo. goo that we call it inside, and we put it here. And now just dip it down inside. Just to kind of hold it, it down it. like this, just hold it, Okay. hold it, hold it, and now wiggle, and it will free itself and turn into a sphere, and when you just let it kind of work its way out, look at that, Look at, hold it in your hand, that's it, that's hold what you get. Hold this in my hand? No, oh, just hold it. Kind of... Oh, that's okay. No, it will. Watch, mm -hmm. Kim, that's what you just made. If you let it sit there for a second, look, now don't pop those, don't. because there's a liquid that's inside, but look at the little marbles that cool. you get in here, and you hold this yeah. way. So that ma it makes it great, and watch if I just pull it up here like this. Right. Uh, I can do three of them here. Like oh, a thank parfait. You. You've got it. And now if I squirt this in, now look at this. I get a worm Multi that's all the different colors that are here like this. Look at that. <sighs> and now you know the secret to the popping boba. The problem is the straw. You have to have a big straw. Sure. And if yeah. you have a boba like that, you have to have a better straw. So I found this. This is a much better way to be able to do it. I found a better straw. So this oh. is the bigger straw. So Tom, I just pulled a giant straw out of a bag. That's called magic. How'd you I that. know, I know. Kids, I'm doing birthday I, parties now. Uh, the <laughs> school business is a little rough in the summertime. I don't have time to explain. I don't, I don't. Awesome. But but now you know the secret to popping boba. Good friends at Nico kind of helped me understand it a little bit better. Cool stuff, as Thank always. You. Thanks, Thank Steve. You. Okay.